Okay, I am going to show you how to make a super easy animal print. So I'm just going to use some basic colors. I'm going to start with um, a little bit of creamy white. It's called It's Creamy White on our website in the paint section. I'm just going to use just a little bit. Please excuse my nails. I was painting all day today and that spray paint just does not want to come out from under my nails. I really should wear gloves. And then I've put just a titch of brown in there and I'm just gonna stir that up. And that is a little bit dark. That's what I get for talking and trying to mix paint at the same time. I want this to be just like a light beige. If you have some yellow on hand, you can add just a titch of yellow in there, which will warm it up just a bit. So just a little bit like that. We're just really trying to get, yeah, that's a good color. We're just really trying to get a light tan. So now that we have that, I am simply going to paint this. Now our style, all of our um, shapes are texture sprayed, which if I hold that up, you might be able to see it. It makes it a little bumpy, makes the paint grab. And we like to leave just a little bit of that showing through, it gives it kind of that rustic kind of look without too much effort or sanding or any of that. So that's pretty much what it should look like for your first coat. So we're going to go ahead and get this dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so for the next step, for the next step of our animal print, we are going to make some polka dots. I like to use these spouncers. We do sell them on our website. Um, and we're gonna make it in a color that's just a little bit darker than the color we mixed initially. So, because I never know if I'm gonna need a mixed color, I'm gonna pour just a little bit of this off into a separate cup so that I have it, just in case I would need to touch anything up. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more brown so that I get a darker color. my little stir stick here and stir that up so that it's a little bit darker. It can be a little bit darker than that even. I'm gonna put just a titch of black in there. Give it a little bit different tone. There we go. That'll work, I think. Hmm. I just want it to be just a smidge darker yet. And it's just a matter of um, what you like. I just don't want it to get too milky, which what it appears to be doing. So I'm gonna go back to black to kind of balance that out a little bit. If you have a dark, oh, that's better. If you have a darker shade of um, brown around, that works too. Just the straight brown is what I probably could have just used now that I'm thinking about it. And I'm just gonna put these polka dots on here. Now I'm gonna do a couple different size polka dots. Ooh, I like this little guy. And you can make as many as you want or as few as you want. You know, animal prints are not um, even and perfect and all of that good stuff, so yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'll put one more up there. All right, so then once we get that dry, we will come back and do the last step to making our animal print. All right, so we're gonna finish up the final steps of our leopard now that these are dry. The way I'm going to do that is just by using a black paint pen. You can do this with a little detail brush. It's just so much easier with a black paint pen. And all I'm going to do is use my paint pen and just kind of make these little squigglies, for lack of a better term. 
okay? So just kind of like that. Around, it, you can go all the way around, you can go um, part way on one side and then part way over here. This is just like a little um, coloring exercise that you can be super messy with or don't you don't have to be real detailed with and it's just super easy to do you just want to kind of just make little wiggles all around your polka dot that's why we kind of use um, I know and we can actually make little ones just by themselves that aren't attached to polka dots too it kind of give it I'm sure if this was um, a leopard's coat they'd be like no that is not how it is um, but and then just like little wiggles little I don't know what else to call them little wiggles And some of them can go against polka dots and they don't have to be the all the same thickness let's make a little guy down here I don't know what do you think I think it looks pretty good and then to finish this off we're gonna take our paint pen and just make some swishies to kind of define the edge I don't know what these things are really called but that's it that's how you do the leopard and then when you pair that up with red it's really pretty so this is super easy really fun to do and i hope you love it